time for the lightning round. All right, folks, think of a world in American Idol without Simon Cowell. How about that? Yanked out of Yankee Stadium and rocking out for babies tomorrow night. More on that in a moment. Our guest tonight is going to be rocking out for babies tomorrow night because she has quite the vested interest in it. Raising money for the March of Dimes is Christy O'Sullivan. How are you? Welcome Hi, to good. Lightning Round. Thank you so much. A former employee as well. We're so happy to have you back. It's good to be back. Thanks, good. Motherhood treating you well? Yes, quite busy, but it's fun. I bet, I <laughs> bet. Well, we're going to talk about your event tomorrow night in just a second. First, I know you're an idol watcher. Um, idol judge Simon Cowell in his uh, last year of the show, contract-wise, he's hinting, he's hinted to a couple of uh, newspapers, maybe he's going to have to give up American Idol this year. And if there's one judge they can't lose, it's probably Simon. Even at $40 million a year, whatever he's making, don't you think? Yeah, I, th I definitely think so. He's the one person that I go to for, if, if you were in my living room, I would go to him for <laughs> advice. <so. laughs> well, and he's the one, you know, you watch the shows and they're all yeah, booing everything right. he says. The reality is, he is the show. He yeah, I mean, show. seriously, who is, I mean, you know, he was famous before, but not like he is now. I mean, really, who is Simon Cowell without American Idol? I, can you say money ploy? Because <laughs> exactly. That's I say that. Exactly I know he says, no, I can't do it, so they give him, but the problem is they give him 50, 60 million dollars. At what point do you just have do you just have too much money? I know you I mean I mean to get to the point where what's the difference between right. 40 million That's and 50 million? He's, he's back next year. Yeah, I think he's, yeah, he's the face of the franchise. Uh, how about this Yankee fan? He may not be back for a while, suing the team for yanking him out of Yankee Stadium. They threw him out because he got up and went to the restroom. He did it, though, at the wrong time, during God Bless America, which they do every time since September 11th, and it was the seventh inning of the game yeah, there. And, and and it's at stadiums all over Major League <laughs> Baseball, not just Yankee Stadium. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and... But I guess they are the only one with the policy, right, that you can't get up and leave, which is kind of ridiculous only in that it's one thing to have respect, and certainly most people need to show respect, but what if he does have a health issue? What if he does have to get to the restroom? I think he's got a good legal case. Yeah, well, I don't think he's the first person in how long have they had this policy? Probably it was been seven it's been years about or seven so years, yeah. to get up and leave during the seventh inning. Well, no, so, you got to wonder. There's I mean, always more is, to what's something. What's the point? I mean, I, I mean, there's got to be something in this guy's past, or something else, simply besides I get up during during God Bless America and went to the bathroom. Something else there has to is be going something on. Else, yeah. Something going on tomorrow night. Mark, Rock, any uh, ideas on that? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't even go to Yankee Stadium, so I can't. Uh, how about rocking out for babies tomorrow night? They actually got a Guitar Hero competition at Green Iguanas. Chip Carter said he's going to lead the charge. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, on court. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Uh, no, this is a, this is a great event. Uh, March of Dimes obviously have been very close to our hearts, very close mm -hmm. to mine and yours as well. Green Iguanas tomorrow night, in Northwest Shore. What time mm -hmm. is it? Six o'clock. It's from five to eight, okay, five or to eight. longer if we keep going. You know, it depends on how many people we have to show up. We and guitar try and get hero is in. that's really the thing. I mean, this is the mm -hmm. way to get this is the way to get our young kids it to is. get attention. We thought it. about karaoke, but we really thought this is this pretty much spreads the whole gamut of you know people with no musical ability whatsoever can play this. Um, parents, kids, you know, this is kind of like the video game version of American Idol. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And uh, obviously this touches your heart because yes. you had a you had an, uh, a premature baby born. Was it been about, about a year? Uh, my son's name is Aiden. He was uh, six weeks early and he yeah. just turned three. Oh, good. And he's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, it was a very difficult time for us when we went through it. And um, this is a very important because so many people go through this and um, having a premature baby is just, it's devastating and it's devastating for everybody in your family and yourself and, and so this has been a cause that's been very important to me ever since. So, so come rock out, not just for Aiden, but for all the for other all babies, babies that March of Dimes and supports all, as well. Right. And if we, we'll put that information on our website and if you can't attend tomorrow night, marchofdimes.org or .com, I know it's on there too, we'll be doing a lot of stuff. The walk is actually next weekend, I'm sure right. we'll see you at the walk too, should yeah. have a lot of fun. Christy yeah. O'Sullivan, thanks so much, Thank appreciate you it. Thank so much. Rock them out tomorrow night, we'll be right back. How does the mix of pros and amateurs work in the Outback? Got it next.